Zoom virtual backgrounds not working? <coughs> In this video, I'll show you how to troubleshoot Zoom virtual backgrounds so you can start using your own, and we'll do that right now. Hey, what's up y'all? This is Brian White and welcome back to Video Zeus. On this channel, we make tutorials to help you spend less time making more videos. If that sounds like you, then smash that subscribe button now. I recently had a few clients who could not get their virtual backgrounds to work properly inside Zoom. So I'm wondering, what is your issue related to Zoom virtual backgrounds? Let me know in the comments below. I'm gonna walk you through several steps to help you troubleshoot your issue. Let's get right down to it. All right, for starters, let's look at the system requirements. If you're on a PC or a Mac, you need at least an i5 processor or better. If you're on an iPad, you need an iPad Pro or better. If you're on an iPhone, you need an iPhone 8 or better. And if you're on an Android, well, sorry, but that is not currently supported. To view a list of the full system requirements, please visit the link in the show notes below. You may have noticed during a meeting that you don't even see an option available for any kind of virtual background in the video options or settings windows. As you can see here, there's no mention of it anywhere, when in fact, there should be a setting for it. So to change that, let's end the meeting, then jump over to a browser window to visit Zoom's website, which is zoom.us. Then go ahead and log into your Zoom account from there. Once inside, you'll be on your profile page. Simply click over here in settings and scroll down the list of this page until you see the virtual background option. Ours is currently turned off. Let's turn it on here and it'll save automatically. Next, let's go back into the Zoom application and click back on your profile icon and click on check for updates. Once that is done or installed, click back on your profile icon and go ahead and sign out of your Zoom account. Then let's sign back in. Now let's launch a new meeting and click down here on the arrow next to video and now you should be able to see the option for virtual backgrounds, which you can then open up and upload your own photo or video background by clicking on the plus sign here. If you added a photo or video background and it's not displaying properly, sometimes it can get flipped. To correct this, click down on the arrow next to the video and go to video settings. Then click on the tab to disable mirror my video. This should rectify your image to display properly. Once you have selected to not mirror my video, you'll want to end your meeting and then restart the meeting to see the changes take effect. If your background is blending into your real background, then you likely don't have enough light to support the effect. Try moving into an area with lots of light. Overhead lights or windows will do. If by chance you're having trouble uploading a video background, first convert your files to a .mp4 before uploading to help ensure success. And if you're unhappy with your virtual background selection out there in the internet world, I offer a gig on Fiverr where I can create you a branded virtual background to integrate into your meetings just like this one. I'll place a link to it below. And if you do decide to stick it out and conquer this issue on your own, you can always reach out to Zoom support team to further explore your issues. Link to that below as well. If you haven't already downloaded my Before You Shoot guide, please follow the link in the show notes below. The guide will prove as a useful resource for each and every one of your video creations. And hey, if you've enjoyed this video, I know you're gonna enjoy these next two videos, which provide more Zoom video meeting instruction. Once again, thanks for watching Video Zeus, where we help you spend less time making more videos.